All right, guys, we're going to get the reading going today for Pisces and their best friend. I do see Five of Pentacles, someone feeling left out. First thing I got is someone's going to want to come in and have some sort of communication with you, truth, clarity. I feel like you guys are going to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Someone's going to tell you that they've been feeling left out for some of you Pisces. Again, guys, take this how it resonates. Yeah. So, someone here in this connection, guys, whether it's you or your best friend, someone here has been manifesting. Something to do with their emotional fulfillment. For some of you guys, you could have a best friend that's in a relationship. They could be married. Someone here could also be a parent. But I feel like someone here in your guys' friendship is building something. They're manifesting something. They're working all the elements in their favor right now. And I feel like they're growing something huge. Um, after a really hard time. Very interesting. I feel like the person that you're dealing with, Pisces, your best friend's wanting to come in, yeah, and have some sort of celebration. But it's interesting. I get a little bit of energy that they are a little worried that you might be too preoccupied to take some sort of offer. They're wanting to come in and refresh your guys' friendship. Because, again, I did see the Five of Pentacles. So, I feel like for some of you, you could have just maybe distanced yourself, taken a step back. Really, not really. Really, not really. What I'm getting, Pisces, is I feel like you're not fully investing in people like you have been. You're really taking a step back. Yeah, focusing on your Ten of Cups. Again, for some of you, this could be something to do with work. You're doing something here where you're focusing on the details of something that makes you emotionally fulfilled. And it's like you're not paying attention to this person, maybe how you have in the past. So now this person watches you. So when I get Pisces, it's like your best friend or whoever it is that you talk to, don't talk to as much. There's something here where I feel like there's been a little bit of a distance. They're wanting to come in and like refresh things. I feel like they're scared though. They're scared that you're not going to take the offer. There could have been some sort of backstabbing or betrayal that's happened in this connection in the past, guys. Take that how it resonates. Thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, and subscribed. I appreciate your guys' support. If you need anything, check out the description box. All the cards I use. You can also try Keen down there if you guys want to check that out. Um, yeah, there's been some sort of thought or something here. So, this person's wanting to come in and give you some sort of truth. The first thing I thought is that something has unfolded in this friendship, and now they feel lack. They feel like things aren't where they used to be. But I feel like, again, that one person in this connection is focusing on something completely different. Someone here has some sort of insecurity in this friendship. And I feel like it's because one of you guys is not investing as much as you usually do. Now, Pisces, this could be you. You could be the person, yeah, be proud of yourself. You're making leaps and bounds. There's something that you're doing, Pisces. I feel like there's a lot of self-love, growth, expansion. You're fully fully focusing on yourself. You're growing something. And I feel like your, your focus, your end goal is emotional contentment. You want to make a life that you're happy with. But something's happened between you and this person, Pisces, your best friend, a friend. Take it how it resonates. Could be a Taurus, not necessarily. I just seen Virgo in my eye as well. Could be a Cancer or a Leo as well. But I feel like this person has fears. I feel like there's an insecurity here where I feel like this person's scared that you could be leaving them behind. And they're wanting to come in and have some sort of talk with you. Yeah. But again, with Take a Breather, I feel like you guys maybe have just taken a step back. For some of you, again, if there was a fight, an argument, some sort of backstabbing, betrayal, it's like you needed to cool your emotions. You realize that there needed to be time in between this connection. It's like everything... Yeah, let's see the bigger picture. The first thing I was about to say before this come out is everything's better when you give it a little bit of time. And that's how I feel like one of you approaches this friendship. You know what? I'm just going to take a step back. I'm going to let you kind of figure out your own thing. Let you kind of deal with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, whatever your friend's going through. I'm going to go over here and focus on me. Focus on what's going to make me happy for the moment. Do a lot of self-care. And I'm just going to let you do your thing. Well, this has brought some insecurity out in this person. And this person is like... There's something here where I feel like your friend could be scared that you're going to leave them behind. And they're just wanting you to, or they're wanting to know that you love them. You support them. So, again, I'm getting with the Knight of Cups. There's going to be good communication. I feel like you guys are going to catch up, have a chat. But I do feel like someone here is going to say, hey, listen, I miss being around you. I miss how you would come over all the time. I miss how... 
things used to be, but there's something here where somebody's going to reveal what needs to be seen. And again, I feel like someone here has stepped up, took control of their life, and they're making their life what they want it to be. And Pisces, for some of you, that could be something you're going to tell your friend. Listen, while you've been doing your thing, I've been over here making my own dream life. I've started this. I've done that. You've done something that you've been manifesting. Yeah, see, and i just seen, look at the bigger picture and emotions are running high. So again, I'm getting that whoever you're dealing with, Pisces, this friend, they're very emotional. Be bold and make the first move. And then we have your hard work is paying off on the bottom. So very interesting. Again, you're having some sort of success and victory while this person's having some sort of insecurity. Something could happen around a crescent moon. I don't always get that, but I'm getting that with this one. Interesting. What do we have? What is Pisces' best friend? What what are they? Why are they feel left out? Why do they feel left out? They feel really tired. They feel really exhausted. I just heard alone. Yeah. And they're also going through something. What are they going through that's unexpected? So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a friend who has a very your friend could be struggling with money. They could come in and tell you that. I also see that somebody could be dealing with someone with a very sneaky tactic. Somebody could be trying to be sneaky when it comes to moving, moving something forward. So be careful with that. So we have Pisces friend. Something unexpected is going to come in. A guarded energy. Yeah. Again, that's that three of swords. Something's going to come in. Where I feel like someone's going to tell you, listen, I'm not good where I'm at. I'm struggling. I'm having a hard time financially. I feel left out. You don't come over no more. Yeah, it could have been four weeks, four months, four years since you've seen this person. I don't feel like four years. Take it how it resonates. And they're going to want to come in. Now, this person could travel to you. They could want to come over. Not necessarily. There's a heartbroken energy here with you holding back, Pisces. I feel like it was unexpected for you to take a step back from this person. I feel like a lot in this person's life is unexpected right now. I feel like they're having a hard time. But they're really, see, they're, they're really, see, they're really focusing on you. Because I am getting a little bit of energy that this person feels left. They feel left. They feel left out. They feel, yeah, I made the wrong choice. They feel abandoned. But again, something here with the Five of Swords. You felt backstabbed, betrayed. I get a little bit of, you know, yeah, it's time to walk away and love yourself. I get a little bit of energy. You didn't agree with something either the way. There's something here, Pisces, you don't agree with. It's either the way that your friend approaches life, something your friend's doing, something here where you were like, you know what, I'm going to, again, take a step back. I'm going to go focus on myself. And I feel like it broke someone's heart. And now this person's like, well, crap. Pisces, I miss having you over all the time. I miss us going out to eat. I miss us going and doing this. I wish you would come back around. So what's going to happen in this connection, in this friendship? What's going to happen? So I definitely feel like someone here could be neglecting their mental health. I also feel like someone here is not sure if they want to continue this friendship. Yeah, as I said that with the runner. Someone here could be running, not necessarily, but it's an energy again of this person's going to want to come in and kind of beg you. Yeah, I'm realizing how much I love you on the bottom. That this person has a lot of emotion for you. They they truly enjoy your friendship. They love you a lot. And it's like they're going to come in and kind of beg for your friendship to an extent. And I feel like you're going to be very guarded. Like, well, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of busy. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And I get for some of you Pisces at one time, things could have been the complete opposite way. So what do we have for Pisces and their friend? What's the future of this connection? We have will. The things are going to turn in someone's favor. Someone's going to use their intuition on leaving someone out on whether or not it's the right choice. Because someone does see that it's breaking someone's heart, them not being around. Again, someone feels very abandoned, left out, but I do feel like this is happening for them. This is something that they're needing to go through. Also, get for some of you, this person could be the kind of friend who's in and out. They're in when they need you, but when they don't need you, you don't hear from them, you don't talk to them. 
something of that sort. So they're wanting to come in and have some sort of communication because they feel like they're not getting what they want from this connection with you. But again, I feel like you took a step back and you've seen the bigger picture. You've seen it as a break, as a rest. You see that friends don't have to be up each other's butt all the time just to take a step back. I feel like you're focusing on yourself and something else, but this person's having a hard time. They're going through a lot of emotion. They're feeling sad, disappointed, heartbroken, guarded. They're feeling very lack. What's this tower energy? What's going to happen unexpected? This is a double tower. So something huge is about to happen for this friend between you guys, something of that sort. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of communication coming in. Someone's going to want to move this forward with you, Pisces. Again, I said that this person was going to come in and have a communication with you, tell you they're feeling left out. This person also keeps tabs on you. So if you guys are friends on like Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, they're constantly looking at your story, seeing if you've updated, seeing what you're doing, seeing what kind of car you're in. I feel like this person feels that you're trying to keep things from them, but you're not. So again, tower energy. So some sort of communication is going to be coming in. Somebody could be buying a new car or moving. It could be very unexpected. Again, there's a sneaky energy here. So be very careful with this person. What's this sneaky energy? This person's wanting to move forward. <sighs> so what I see, Pisces, is you have a lot of love for this person. I see Queen of Cups, Two of Cups. You do feel like this is family. This is family to you. There is a little bit of a sneaky energy, though, here. Somebody's going to come in and tell you something. I feel like they're either moving, getting a new car. Something's going to be very sudden, unexpected. They're, I don't want to say that they're lying. They're going to seem like everything's working out for them. Their life's great. Their life's happy. Use your intuition. They either have help. Something's going on. This person's going through a lot of hard energy, but I feel like they don't want you to see that. For some of you, I feel like this is the kind of friend that always has to one-up you. They always have things better. It's like, oh, I have a new car. I didn't have nobody help me. Um, I have a new house. I didn't have nobody help me. Now, for some of you that that resonates for, they're lying. They did have someone help them. You're going to use your intuition and get clarity on who that is. And it could be someone who's really bad about leaving them out in the cold. Um, I feel like you just took yourself out of this. You just took yourself out. Yeah, with the Seven of Wands, you took yourself out of this. You decided to be very guarded, protective of your own energy, and you weren't willing to keep doing this. Again, for some of you, it could be a father, a boss, someone like that that's going to be helping them. What else do we have for Pisces and their best friend? Use your intuition, because I do feel like for some of you, this person could be very sneaky on some of the things that they tell you. And I feel like intuitively you can pick up. For some of you, they're, they, have the name, they have the letters A, C, or M in their name. Yeah, remain positive. Something's going to unfold, but it's not the right time. Something's going to change in this connection. Again, I feel like you guys have taken a step back from one another. Yeah, somebody could be going through recovery. Somebody could be... Um, so with recovery, somebody could have been sick. Somebody could have been going through an addiction, something of that sort. Somebody could also be needing to heal. So remain positive about this connection, Pisces. Re remain positive about where this can go. What do we have for the remain positive? Yeah, because there's a guarded energy here. Now, for some of you, I feel like this could be the kind of friend that they take advantage of your emotion and your love. So, what I get with that is, yeah, somebody here decided to bring change and transformation. It's like someone takes advantage of, okay, this is the energy I get. Hey, we're going out to eat. Oh, I forgot my purse. Hey, we're going to go get on a boat. Oh, I'll pay a third of it. I can't pay half. It's kind of the energy that they always under-ask you. You're very guarded on whether or not you're going to be able to continue to invest with this person. I'm getting strong energy. You're going to continue to use your intuition on if this is even going to work. And you're needing to be real with yourself, Pisces, because, again, I feel like you're picking up on something. Yeah, you're picking up on something. You're needing to pay attention to the details that are coming to light with you when it comes to this person and this connection. Look, detoxify. That's literally what I was picking up. 
you're needing to find a balance in this connection because I do feel like whoever this friend is, Pisces, it's kind of like if you take a step back, you try to do your own thing, you don't give them as much, you don't do as much, you're not willing to go in half. Something here where it's kind of like when you take a step back, you realize that they weren't really the best that you thought that they were. But now that they're wanting to come in, I feel like they're wanting to cling on to you. Because there's this energy here where they don't want to be abandoned. They want you to be here. They don't understand why you're trying to do your own thing. So that's kind of what I get. You're doing your own thing. You're trying to take a breather. You're trying to grow something, build something in your environment, Pisces. I definitely see you using your intuition on whether or not you're going to invest in this anymore. Now, for some of you, you're... The person you're dealing with, your friend, could be coming up sick here very soon or something of that sort, and you're not sure if you're even going to want to help. There's something here where something's going to happen, Pisces, and you're going to be back or forth or not on whether you're going to want to help. So again, for some of you, somebody could come in and bring in some sort of tower moment. And so the first thing I just thought was, hey, we just got evicted and we don't have a place to live. And they're wanting to come and stay with you. But there's a sneaky behavior behind it because I feel like they either knew there's something here that they're keeping to themselves, And you kind of pick up on that. Which I feel like is why you kind of started doing your own thing. Huh. Yeah, but it's up to you on whether or not you're going to want to go anywhere with this person in this connection. They're wanting you to meditate, though, because I feel like there's that's going to bring you some answers on whether or not you should invest. I do feel like you guys have a lot of emotion and love for this person, but you're just not sure how much more of this friendship you can give. Because I feel like you feel you give a lot. I do. And again, there's something here where I feel like you either don't agree with a friend or there's something here where you're having to detach yourself from that person because you it's like you you see something about to happen. Very interesting. All right, guys, we're going to leave that here. Try to have a blessed day.